Hey, this is Cappy Smack coming to you from the end of the Axis event. It was a four-day event. And you can see, at the end of the event, I ended up with 8.7 million Intel points. That's 8.7 million Intel points. So now I'm going to go over the rewards, and we're going to take a look at things. So first off, I think I'm going to start with my... Craft. Boxes and things. I'm going to see what I got. I got some gold boxes. I got uh, a couple of red boxes. I got a core box. I don't know. Demon core chips kept jumping me. I don't know what the problem was. Uh, bronze boxes. And I got, got some silver boxes. So let's start with silver. Oh, gotta do that. All right, there we go. Brutal Gatling Ray Turret 2. Frenzied Sickle Missile Turret 3 from my base. Spectre Wing 3 from my base. Another frenzied sicko turret. Sounds a little sicko to me, but hey, whatever works. Boosted AP2. Well, that's pretty cool. All right, let's start opening up some bronze boxes. I got, I got the silver boxes and bronze boxes and these gold boxes from doing either uh, high-end ancient reapers, which turned out not to be my sweet spot, or uh, from doing infected outposts also not my sweet spot turned out my sweet spot was low end level 45 level 50 level 55 uh, reapers that was my sweet spot and as you can see I must have killed a lot of them because I've got 11,408 unknown objects you know, some of those came from a previous event, some of those came from this event, whatever, I killed a bunch. Uh, projectile resistor and uh, mineral ore. Cool. Damocles! That's my second Damocles. That's a... Damocles is like a 21 day build. Even when you have the hull. Helium 3, Resistor, Infernal Wave Driver 2, Cool, Antimatter, Helium 3, Infernal Wave Driver, Yellow jacket, no kidding. You know, I did not think I would get a yellow jacket out of this whole event. Prove me wrong. I got a yellow jacket. Awesome. Another yellow jacket. Wow. And another yellow jacket. Boy, oh boy, those are pretty good. And another yellow jacket. I'm going to have a full set of yellow jackets. Yep, I think that's a full set. I got lucky on those. Good thing I'm opening these boxes first. This is just a core box. Uh, like I said, blame it on Demon Core. Right, let's get this open. Ah, oh, damn it, these destroyer parts. Cool. Tornado Frigate. Oh. 
Frenzy Sicko. These are gold boxes. Frenzy decks. Base defense. Boost your AP. Frenzy Sicko. Boost your AP. Boosted AP. I cannot believe I got six yellow jackets. <laughs> I'll have to look at those later. Brutal Gatling Ray 3. Another Brutal Gatling Ray 3. Frenzy Dex. Back your way. Exterminator destroy our parts. Destroy our core. And some more Xeno Division and Antimatter. And I'm full up on Antimatter, so that's going to go to the waste, but hey, that's life. Craft. Still need Helium 3. Exterminator. There you go. Everything I need to build an exterminator. I think for a while I was doing some mid-level uh, infected outposts. That's where these came from. I haven't even spent any of my intel points yet. This is just boxes. This is what makes spending $500 on a game worth it. In addition to the 90 I spent for this event. Otherwise, I wouldn't have a third of the points. I wouldn't have any of these gold boxes. Okay, so let's see what we got. Curious as to what these yellow jackets are doing for us. 590 DPS. Alright, so 636 to 590. That's better than the normal Xeno swarms. Because of my two uh, Dominator uh, carriers, I've got these uh, gladiator, gladiator swarms. So it's better firepower than that. Pretty cool. All right, so let's see what we got from here. So obviously, I'm going to start out with the Paladin. That's the whole reason for doing this. So let's grab the Paladin. So now I got the Paladin blueprint. Check my blueprints. Blueprints. And my paladin is where exactly? Oh, there it is. So there's my paladin. 
Of course, I cannot build it yet. Pretty sure. I'll check it out. Shit. Because my base just sucks. Way under level for what I'm trying to do here. Yep, Ship Lab 10. Ship Lab 10 is, uh... Currently my Ship Lab is coming up to 10. That will take another two days. So in about two and a quarter days. Shit. In theory, I could start my Paladin. Not bad. I've got everything else for that. Alright. Otherwise, I would have been doing a Valkyrie. But now I get to do Paladin. For two days and six hours. Not bad, not bad. I like that. So, let's see what else is left. Still have 6.7 million points. Now, I was thinking about these Hunter Swarms. Yellow Jackets are actually better. And I got six. So, I think I am good. I just saved myself... 700, I saved myself a million and a half points. <laughs> I earned those million and a half points not knowing. Alright, so let's see. What else is there? Uh, we need a field module. Um, ion field is uh, basically shield support. You get uh, more shield damage and less health. Agility field is 30% more speed, 30% more strafe, and 30% more rear speed. And I think everybody's going to do that, but I can afford to get all three now. Since I don't have to buy swarms. It's interesting. I'll give that some thought for a second. So, let's see. I think what I'm going to do is... And this other one is phase. I would want at least two of those. I think I'm going to get uh, two of them. And then see where I am. Alright. So I'm going to get... Uh, I'm going to get all three. Because I don't need these hunter swarms. And the person calling me on the phone is going to get my voicemail because I am busy. Alright, and they're calling me after business hours anyway. Shame on them. Okay, so then what's next is... Uh, cutter, battleship, destroyer, and suppressor. People are tearing me up with the battleship, so I need one of those. And then it's between the cutter, which is extra speed, and the destroyer, which is, you know, firepower. So then I think I would go with uh, because I left extra points in for gold boxes. So what do I do next? How many points do I have? Still have 4.4 4 million. But I would need one, two, three, three, six, nine. Yeah, I guess I'm a little tempted to get all three of these blueprints. And no gold boxes. I don't want to do that, though. I think what I want to do is destroyer. I got parts for a destroyer. And then I think I'm going to want an uh, armored Xenothruster. Because 
I need that for my current Xeno builds. Still at 2.3. So that means I could either do a decimator or a suppressor. Which I, you know, there's going to be another event next month, and yeah, I'll, I'll have a paladin next month too, I think. Uh, now I'm eight days away from building up enough to give myself a bigger fleet, which I do need. Yeah, well, I think I can build a paladin while I'm doing that. So the paladin's 14 to 21 days. That would be a hot top priority. Uh, so, yeah, I think I might just be able to do a Paladin Punisher for the next month's event. So, 2.3, yeah, alright, so I got 2.3 million. I don't want to do gold boxes for 2.3 million. That's just ridiculous. That's ridiculous. But, I do want... Both of these. That'll save uh, two more blueprints for the next event. And uh, actually, there is an event coming up in less than a week. Uh, Planet Strike or some silly thing that might have one of these blueprints. We'll have to see. So that leaves me with about what I thought I'd have 1.2 million on these boxes. Because gold boxes can have interesting gear. I can get 30 of them. So we'll have to see. Uh, that's only a million. I'll have to spend some points on some other stuff. Alright, there we go. Well, let's do it. That's 30 gold boxes. And uh, that leaves me with 352k. Three hundred and fifty-two thousand points left to spend. And if I had uh, 30 of these silver boxes, which is going to be crafting materials, I think. I think that's what I need to do. Won't quite be 30, but... Three silver boxes, and I still have seven thousand points left. I might need resources in the next twenty-three hours and thirty-eight minutes, so I'm gonna let that roll. You know, I just thought of something. In a couple days, in three days, uh, there's gonna be a twenty percent ship build discount. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll be ready to start my Paladin right on time with everybody else. Awesome. I didn't think I'd be able to do that. Okay, so let's start opening some boxes. Craft. Let's do silver boxes first.
Oh, Corinthian Cruiser. I did not know they would put chips in these boxes. Seize driver. Seize driver. Good seize driver. Good seize driver. Nice optics. I like it. Another ionized optics. More siege drivers, which I desperately need. So it looks like uh, base defenses and ships in the silver boxes. I'm hoping it's stuff for my ships in the gold boxes. Let's find out. Oh, Eagle Frigate. I like it. It's like three ships. Lance Destroyer. Not bad, not bad. And now the gold boxes. Missile. Impulse beam. Another impulse beam. Another impulse beam. Arc missile. Too overwhelming yet. A whole lot of arc missiles. That's a lot of arc missiles and impulse beams. Still not terrible. Alright. So, that's what I got. Blueprints. Paladin carrier, battleship, destroyer. Already had the Punisher cruiser. And those are my blueprints. Right on. Alright, so, 
I just want to say a word about my uh, strategy going into this. I did not have a big enough fleet to allow me to tackle the largest enemies in the game. What I had was just the one fleet with three Punishers. I've got another fleet with two Punishers, but that would not be enough firepower at all. Ready. Five Punishers would have been enough. I can only put together a fleet with three at most. So I found my sweet spot, which were low-level mobs, and I killed the hell out of them. And that was basically my strategy, because what I wanted was a Paladin. And then I got lucky and got a lot of other stuff. Repair completed. So that is where I am. This is my current base layout. Works pretty good. It's not great. It's not ideal. I'd like to have one more mine for there, another mine over here, another mine over here. I've got uh, I've got four entrances where people can sneak their way in. And they're not spaced far enough apart for my likings. But uh, that's it. So I'm going to sign off. We'll see you for the next event. 8.6 million intel points in four days. Not bad. We'll catch you later. Fly safe.